hi all so in this video we are going to see uh, dependent drop downs like how to configure dependent drop downs means like uh, first we will select a particular value from the drop down based on that the second drop down will populate so we will see so we will see two methods uh, about building this drop down so let's start with the first method so what I'm going to do is first of all let's create a simple interface okay so here we will name it a uh, drop down selection okay so now let's get started with our interface so uh, we will go with our first method uh, for the drop down so what we will do is uh, let's take a simple page uh, okay and in the page uh, we will take two drop down so this section name we don't want now okay and let's take one column here fine and we will attach our first drop down here and the second drop down here that's it okay and uh, in the top uh, we can just write something uh, let's say like let's add some rich text here and we will add some values uh, here uh, like what these drop downs are actually for so here uh, let me write it uh, please okay select a uh, please select your option so something like this like I have written it down okay and I can make it a bit large as well okay so size will Okay, it's not it is just inside the text not I have to write outside it style and size so size will be kind of medium let's say now let's start with our first drop down so let's name our drop down so uh, we have to name our first drop down based on that second drop down will populate so let's name uh, what we can name is a uh, let's name like a uh, food option okay food option okay so this is our main food option is written here so in that what we want is these are the choice level this is the choice value I want to populate two two things here uh, breakfast and lunch and based on the breakfast if we select any breakfast then the uh, uh, this dependent drop down will also populate on that so let's name it some name here there okay so food option and then selected or uh, option and then here options just write it options fine and this is the food option and this is just the options fine so let's see like what we can have I want to have two so first method uh, we are going to talk about so the first method is with the help of uh, like we will create a constant okay we will create a constant and we will put that constant into a decision and then from there like we will populate our options okay so how to get uh, it done so first of all let's create a constant for our first drop down we want food options right so we want some food option let's create some constant for that so here we I will write it food option okay food options just write it like this and it will be a kind of text only okay and it will be array it will contain two things first will be uh, breakfast breakfast and the second will be lunch two options it will contain and now let's create this value once this options uh, one constant is created we will refer this constant in the, our interface with the help of decision and now let's create our second option so in that so we have two breakfast and uh, lunch options so here we can write it like breakfast uh, breakfast and lunch lunch options okay so in breakfast and lunch what are the different options available 
let's put it down okay so let's add first of all some breakfast we will add them both in a single constant only uh, why I'm doing this like when I will create a decision then it will be much easier to refer than to refer many different constants it can be done with one constant only so let's write something like uh, in um, breakfast let's write something like uh, uh, idli so first option let's give it like idli and then write it something like thepla thepla jetha lal's favorite <laughs> if you was tarak mehta <laughs> okay so idli thepla and then let's add a poha okay so three are more than enough for the breakfast now let's add some lunch option like uh, rice uh, paneer and dal okay so three three options i have added let's create this constant so all this all these values i have now been created okay so two constant i have created first was the food option what are the different food options available breakfast and lunch is available and then i have created another like what are the things will that will be available in either breakfast or lunch and based on that it will populate so first of all what i will do is i will create a decision okay with the help of decision we are going to refer these values okay so uh, decision will be like uh, uh, okay so here we will name our decision like uh, populate okay populate uh, options so populate food options let's write it like this food options so we will populate the food options from in this decision so how we will populate it we will see here so first method is by this constant only so let's see so we are giving only one input okay so let's delete this uh, second input we don't want and here we just want two options first is this so we will name it as food options and it will be type of text only okay so first food option is our uh, lunch or sorry breakfast and second food option is lunch two things uh, two things are available to us okay these two inputs we don't need fine so in output uh, we will just write it like uh, okay available options what are the different available options available in them and it will be type of uh, text or you can say like user drop down here you can see one condition or one checkbox is there use a drop down list to save the value so we have to populate a drop down and we have put a constant so we will just edit as an expression so that we can directly refer our constant here so this was the constant for that and we will refer our constant here cons bang this and similarly whatever is option let's paste it here as well now here you will see like this is how it will get populated okay now so this and we will make it array okay so that we can select multiple options and why i am doing this uh, that's also will get clear so what is the first when the user will select breakfast what are the different options should appear to them idli will appear thepla should appear and poha should appear these three options that is why i selected in the drop down as multiple if you will see here in available option first of all i make them array so that it contain multiple values okay and that is what the multiple values are getting if we only one value is there then it will become difficult and if lunch is selected then rice paneer and dal will get selected that's it okay and here we can select like okay or we can leave it so let's see the food option is uh, okay e here we have already made a constant for this as well right so here we will use the edit as okay so cons bang here we have already co configured a constant uh, without constant also it was possible but fine we have configured we will use it okay now 
so if breakfast is selected so let's see if breakfast is selected what are the different options I will get I will get these options if lunch is selected what are the different options I will get I will get these options now save our changes so that's all uh, we wanted so now how to refer this okay so first of all what we will do is uh, we will put it whole into a kind of local variables so that we can refer it easily okay so local bank food uh, okay so uh, we will local bank uh, what I will select is uh, first of all food options local bank food options so everything I'm doing with local variables only we can do with rule inputs as well but fine okay and then we second option will be local bank selected uh, food okay or local bank okay uh, selected food only I can write it here fine so first of all what user will do is we will he come here into our drop down and in the choice levels what will populate we have to populate one constant right cons bank uh what is that food options cons bank ys underscore food so this is the options we populate and choice value will also be the same only cons bank y ys underscore food options so this and when user will select so if you see here now two values are getting populated when user will select here the value what should be the value so so it's it will get stored in i have created one local value local bank food options okay i have created local only so fine now we can get rule input as well and local bank food options that's it now let's see if I select any value like breakfast so if you see here breakfast will get selected if I select a uh, lunch so here lunch will get selected fine so that part is our done now let's come into our options so what are the different options available in here so uh, for first of all what we will do we will configure the choice levels in here we will call our rule bank decision what was the decision why is underscore populate food options and it has food options as one parameter and what is the where food parameters how we can pass it or uh, whatever the value which are stored in local bank food options that will only get populated here okay and in choice values as well uh, we can do the same thing rule bank ys underscore populate populate food options and in the food options what local bank food options that's it so now a, you, you will see here if I selected lunch so all the option of lunch are getting here if I select breakfast then all the options of breakfast will get selected here and after that like uh, uh, we can do is value for value as well we have uh, one local variable defined selected food right and now we will save into this local variable only of selected food now let's see how does it work so if I select a breakfast so any breakfast is getting selected idli okay thepla okay all values are getting selected now if I selected lunch so in lunch oh it is breaking <sighs> why it is breaking was I selected lunch but initially the value in selected food if you see here it's already poha but <laughs> inside this lunch there is nothing like this it is already uh, present so we don't uh, we sh have to avoid it so what we can do in this case is we will go back into our this option and when I am saving into food options I should also save one more thing here I will save null value so that when 
any food option is selected null value should get saved and then when uh, selected food will be get saved then that value will populate again somebody change the first drop down then the second value will become null that is why so target is what local bank selected food and what null values should get saved here let me test it again means uh, just refresh it now first of all what if i selected any suppose lunch i selected so in lunch any value i can now select dal okay or i can select anything like rice but if somebody selected from lunch to breakfast again again it will save null here the value of here will change to breakfast and the value here will change to the null so that the users will be able to save it again so this is how like we can configure dependent uh, drop downs uh, one more thing we can configure here this is just here options not not looking much better if i select a breakfast it should populate with breakfast options and uh, okay so instead of this like uh, we can just uh, uh, you can say like uh, we can name a uh, if condition here as well if now how to write if first of all what is the condition my condition is if food options if local bank food option is equal to what it is equal to breakfast if it is equal to breakfast then what should be my label my label should be breakfast options okay break fast okay breakfast options and now if it is else then it should be lunch options these two things i have configured now food option is here it is breakfast option if i am selecting lunch so now it is lunch options right so what are the different things available here that i have selected so that's all in this video like in the second video we will see about like if data is present like it was a very small amount of data and then if you see you have only two options but what if we have like uh, uh, the different states of our country uh, and the cities mapped to them it is a very long list and we can't uh, store that in a constant not a very good idea directly from database we can pick the values right so we will see that part as well so that's all in this video thank you